If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm today to get started. Hello, self-developers, and welcome to the Patrick Kelly Podcast for Self-Development, where I will be reviewing all of the books on self-development that can change your life for the better this year and years to come. It is said that if we keep on doing what we always did, we will keep on getting what we always got. In other words, to change our output, we first have to change our input. Today is October 2nd, 2022. And this is episode 40 of season two. And today we'll be reviewing the audible book, The Power of Your Potential, How to Break Through Your Limits by John C. Maxwell. This audible book will step-by-step teach you how to become the person you are potentially meant to be. If you don't know what's limiting your own potential, how will you remove it? If I always do what I have always done, I will always get what I always gotten. Change does not always have to be drastic to be effective. In matters of choice, changes can be achieved much more quickly. We must change our capacity in order to increase our potential. All lasting growth requires awareness. If you lack awareness, then you don't know that you are unaware. Whatever you do well, try to do it better. That is the only way to break through your limits and access your potential. Part 1, Section 1. Energy Potential, Your Ability to Push on Physically. We need to focus on our energy. We cannot get things done and make an impact in the world without increasing our energy potential. People who reach their potential do not sit around and wait for things to happen for them. They go out and make things happen. Focus your energy by using the three R's to prioritize. Requirement, what you have to do. Return, what you do well. Reward, what you love to do. Doing what rewards you almost always gives you energy. The three R's will always make you energized by your work. If you grind away in areas of weakness, you will just get worn out. However, if you shine in your strengths and have the strength and tenacity of a grinder, you will go far. Section 2. Emotional Potential, Your Ability to Manage Your Emotions Emotional potential is the ability to handle adversity, failure, criticism, change, and pressure in a positive way. All of these things create stress in our lives. Emotionally strong people are proactive in dealing with their emotions. Only by taking action can we pull ourselves out of the pits that we find ourselves in. We either continually work on mastering our emotions or we will be continually mastered by them. Steps to Mastering Your Emotions 1. Emotionally strong people are proactive in dealing with their emotions. 2. Emotionally strong people don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. 3. Emotionally strong people don't allow others to control their relationships. 4. Emotionally strong people do not waste energy on things they cannot control. 5. Emotionally strong people do not keep making the same mistakes. 6. Emotionally strong people don't let the highs or lows to control their lives. 7. Emotionally strong people understand, appreciate, and grow through their struggles. Section 3. Thinking potential, your ability to think effectively. As your thinking improves, the number of good ideas you have will increase. And as you take action on those ideas, your life will become better. Great lives are created by taking good action on great ideas. Think the thought and value your thinking. Become a good thinker means having the right mindset. To increase your thinking capacity, you need to become an idea digger. Always look for ideas and try to mind them. Ideas are like muscles. You either use them or lose them. 
Capture your thoughts so you can find them again by writing them down. The only thing worse than not having a way to capture great ideas and thus missing them is capturing a bad idea and trying to make it work. If the idea is not good, let it go. Verbalize the thought and express your thinking. To get the best out of an idea, you need to only think it through and write it down, but also to talk it out. Talking expresses your heart, expands your idea, and will also connect your thinking to your heart. Section four. People potential, your ability to build relationships. We are defined by our relationships. We become who we hang around with most of the time. There is no better way to show people you value them than by asking them for their opinion. Communicating is about adding value to people, not by adding value to yourself. The more you know about people and the more you can improve yourself is the only way you can make a difference in the lives of others. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. You cannot be friends with people when they have to walk on eggshells. Try to see people as they could be and not necessarily as they are. People are apt to change when people believe in them. Always spend time with people who are smarter than you. The more you value people and put yourself into their world, seek to add value to them and be their friend, the better your life will be. Closing thoughts. On a scale of one to five, I would give this Alba book a super duper five for providing many steps on how to become the person you were potentially meant to be. To find out more about this Audible book, go to www.audible.com and download this Audible book or go to www.maxwellleadership.com to find out more information and other books written by the author. Remember to subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast platform so you do not miss an episode. And also remember to please share this episode via text or email with friends and family and other people that you care about. Follow me on Twitter at Kelly Podcast or Instagram at Patrick Kelly underscore podcast. For more episodes of the Patrick Kelly Podcast for self development, go to www.thepatrickkellypodcast.com. If you'd like to donate a dollar or more to the support of this podcast, click the donate button at www.thepatrickkellypodcast.com or go to dollar sign Patrick Kelly Podcast on Cash App and I'll be sure to thank you on the next episode. This is the end of this podcast for today. Tune in next week Sunday for the next episode and the next Audible book of over 300 books that I'll be reviewing on the Patrick Kelly podcast for self-development. If you enjoyed this podcast, take a moment to rate and review on Apple Podcasts. This really helps me out. Feel free to share this podcast with someone you care about. And remember, your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Take care.